Hey, welcome back again, okay? And uh, we're talking about the state of Indiana right now in the tax sales, okay? So let's go into a little bit more detail in the state of Indiana. What I'm gonna try to do is give you videos of each state and the detailed information about the states, okay? Um, so in the state of Indiana, okay, remember that they have two types of, three types of sales in the state of Indiana. They have the tax lien certificate sales, which are usually held in September, October, and November, okay? Then they have the commissioner sale, which is usually held either February, March, or April. And then a few of the counties have the deed sale, which are usually held either in May or June, okay? But today, let's talk about only the tax lien certificate sales. Tax lien certificate sales, because those are coming up right now, month of August, September, and October. Okay, so in the state of Indiana, Indiana is a tax lien certificate, okay? Tax lien certificate, okay? You are going to own a lien on the property, okay? You are gonna get a certificate from the county. So when you attend the auction, okay, the county will actually give you your winning certificate if you win at the auction, all right? So, let's go into it. There's two types of auctions, as we know, in the state of Indiana. One is a in-person auction. Two is on the internet or an online auction. Every county does differently, okay? Now, when you go to the in-person auction, it's extremely important that you call the county on the phone and you ask them exactly what is required to bid at the auction. And the reason why I tell you this, there are some counties in the state of Indiana that you have to register before the auction, before the auction. That means you have to send in all the paperwork and a lot of the counties will, some of the counties will require you to put down a non-refundable deposit, okay? So, I know Lake County was doing that, that they required you to one, go ahead of time to register, two, to give a deposit, non-refundable deposit, okay, in order to bid at the auction. Okay, now online auctions, there are basically two types of online auctions, okay? One is usually held on a Zeus auction, a Zeus auction or connected with SRI services, a zeusauction.com. The second one they've been using now is GovSE, govSE.com, okay? So, you have to make sure you check with the county far ahead of time and see, are they doing an online auction or are they doing a in-person auction, okay? Now, if you're gonna do an in-person auction, if you're gonna be bidding yourself, just under yourself, your name, your social security number, you better make sure you bring your driver's license with you, okay? because that's a must that they want, is uh, to make sure you are who you are. If you're gonna bid as a corporation or an LLC or some type of entity, okay, your company has to be approved by the Secretary of State in the state of Indiana. And you need the documents with you when you are gonna be registering your corporation to bid at the auction. If you do not have your paperwork, your articles or your operating agreement and your paperwork showing your company is approved in the state 
of Indiana and in, and in good standing, your company will not be able to bid at the auction, okay? I've seen that many times when I've gone to the auctions there in Indiana that they don't have their proper documents. So then they have to be switched over to bid on their individual person, okay? Now, in Indiana, remember it's a tax lien certificate sale. You have one year, okay? You are the lien holder for one year, okay, and that's it. They are not a five year redemption period. You cannot stay on the lien for five years or 10 years, no. One year, okay? After one year, you have to decide is, are you going to foreclose on the property to acquire the property, or are you just gonna lose your money, okay? And not foreclose on the property. There are times, unfortunately, that you may do not want to foreclose on the property because maybe the house has caught on fire and it's burnt down or the city has put numerous amounts of code violations on it, okay? And it's gonna be not cost effective, unfortunately, to foreclose on the property, okay? Now, Indiana pays a 10% penalty and a 5% overage, annual overage. So the auction will start, say, at $1,000, okay? That's the opening bid, $1,000. And it gets bid up to, say, $20,000, all right? So there's a lot of competition. The winner wins it at $20,000. If the person pays the taxes back, okay, you will get 10% penalty. So that means that you will get $100 if they pay you back the first six months, plus your $1,000, okay? So 10% penalty of the $1,000. It's not an interest rate, a penalty. After six months, if they pay, you will get a 15% penalty. So six months in one day, you get paid $150 on that $1,000. You also will get a 5% annual interest rate on the $19,000 that you bid. 5% annual interest rate, okay? So, if the person redeems very quickly, the first month or two, you'll get a great return, okay? Because you're gonna get the penalty, you'll get the 5% interest rate, and you get your money back quick. If it's within a year, you'll still get a halfway decent interest rate, between 7% 8% if you average the you know, 15% interest rate, 15% penalty, and the 5% interest rate, okay? So you've got to remember that whoever bids the highest amount at the auction will win the lien on the property. And you've got one year, after one year, you do have to foreclose on the property, okay? Now, if you are the lien holder, if you are the successful winner at the auction, okay, there are certain rules that you must do in order to be able to foreclose on that property in one year. So I would recommend you to hire a local attorney there, okay, who knows the tax sale business. And what will happen is you are gonna have to pay the attorney a certain fee for attorney fees and title fees. But the good thing is if that attorney and he files the proper documents in a timely manner with the county, you will get your money back on attorney fees and you will get your money back on your um, title insurance that you have to pay. But you have to do it in a timely manner, okay, in order to get reimbursed for that. You will not get any interest at all, okay? So, 
very, very important, okay, is step by step. You have to make sure that you are going to be bidding on the right property, okay? And you have to make sure that your attorney has sent in the proper documents. And also, when one year comes up, before you start your foreclosure on your property, okay, you want to make sure that you are, um, you have visited the property again and make sure the property is still there in the good condition as it was the first time that you bid it, okay? So be very careful on that situation, okay? Because I've seen times, and it, it's happened to me, that I would go in and I bid maybe $2,000 or more. And after one year, I don't want the property because the city has put all these code violations on it and um, I get screwed, okay? So be careful there, all right? So again, Indiana, tax lien certificate, state. You do not own the property, you're just a lien on the property. After one year, you can foreclose on the property. It's a great way you can get some interest on it. You could get a good property. Now, one last thing too, on the auctions. The online auction is much more competitive than the in-person auctions, okay? If you can find a in-person auction in a smaller county, okay, you will have a better chance that you will be able to win a tax lien certificate at a reasonable price than if you go online in a big county, okay? How do I know that? Because that's happened to me many times, okay, in the state of Indiana, okay? So I hope you liked the little video. It is a little bit longer. I want to give that to you, but that is how the state of Indiana kind of operates in a nutshell. Uh, if you do like it, please like us, share the video with your friends, consider subscribing to our channel, and till next time, we'll see you then.